Thank you, Mac. You know, even having to consider for just a moment that you or a loved one may have breast cancer is terrible. Also unpleasant, but necessarily necessary, uh, actually checking to see if you or a loved one has breast cancer. So this involves a couple of steps, of course. The first of which is often a self-check at home or a mammogram at your doctor's office. Uncomfortable or even un painful to undergo those processes, but that knowledge uh, that comes with those tests can save lives. That's why Liz Freeman is here. She's a breast health navigator at CHI St. Joseph Health. She's here with us today to help navigate this world of checking for breast cancer because it is a scary thing and it can just be, be an awkward thing, whatever, whatever form you're taking. So Liz, first, why in general is it just so important that we keep this on our minds to check for breast cancer in these ways? Well, because breast cancer, everybody's risk is different. There's a hereditary risk. There is, um, specifically, there's one out of eight women that will be diagnosed with breast cancer. And so... Um, a, a huge statistic. Yeah. I feel like all none of us are safe. That's right. That's right. And it sometimes plays a role with your hereditary risk, mm -hmm. but Sometimes there are women who have no hereditary uh, factors and nothing that um, stands out to them as far as having a history of breast cancer in their family. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times we also have patients who don't know their family history and so it's most important that they keep up with their screening mammograms once a year. Absolutely, because they don't necessarily know what that risk is, but if you do know what the risk is, uh, certainly factor that into when you begin doing those self-checks or mammograms. So let's talk about that. When, when should we start? What's the right age to start uh, checking yourself out or to start asking your doctor for a mammogram? For mammograms, it's once, uh, once a year at the age of 40. And so the reason why you come once a year is because your breast can change from month to month mm -hmm. and they can change from year to year. So if you come in on one year and have a mammogram and then come in the next year, there's a chance that something will show up on that next year. Um, as far as self breast exams go, you should do them every year, I mean every month, beginning at age 18. Wow, yep. 18 years old, but I guess there's no risk involved with uh, doing a self-check, so why not start early? That's right, and you become more familiar with your breast, so mm -hmm. there's something that is odd to you. You're going to be the one that's going to be able to pick that up and, and tell your provider that, you know, this just doesn't feel right. Certainly. Yeah. It, well, well, what a great point that you have to know what the constant is to know if there's some sort of variable that's in there that's, uh, that's not where it's supposed to be. Um, what, what do you want to say to women who who might just be scared, who might be putting off this mammogram because they're terrified. Well, the, the fear of the unknown right. is really what gets our patients. And so typically they'll come in for their first mammogram and um, we try to put them at ease. And once they're done with their mammogram, we can tell them that we can talk about it. You know, how do you feel? Was it as bad as you thought? And they'll say, well, you know what? It's not as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be very painful. I had seen all of this on the internet. I'd seen all the jokes. And um, so it wasn't as bad as I thought. And um, well, I, we usually tell them, well, you know, be sure to tell your friends it was horrible because you know, we have a reputation to uphold, but it's really not that bad. <laughs> but it's not actually that mm -hmm. bad. And uh, what, what is so good about it mm -hmm. is obviously the early detection that we know can save lives. Um, uh, Liz, thank you so much for being here sure. with us from CHI St. Joseph Health. She is a breast health navigator and she helped us uh, out a little bit, letting us know what to expect. Appreciate that. Oh, we're going to go paint the town pink is happening uh, in, in, in really all over the Brazos Valley. There are 30 restaurants that are saying, come on out. 30 businesses that are saying, come on out, uh, support us to support breast cancer. So places like Nothing Bun Cakes, Napa Flats are a couple of the spots that we visited today. You can go out there, eat, mm -hmm. donate a little, and, 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 and some of your, uh, some of what you spend there enjoying a meal or enjoying this business will be donated to the Pink Alliance, as we know, which does a lot of uh, great, great work here in the Brazos Valley, specifically for these local residents who have <coughs> breast cancer. All right, moving on now, a local school district is doing their part to raise awareness about breast cancer. That's why we find News 3's Carly Cassidy. She is out there for us live. Carly, what's happening out at Mumford ISD? All right, that's right, Kathleen. We're out here at Mumford High School, and we have a good representation of pink and also students here and also the volleyball team from Mumford. So let's hear it from you guys. Yeah! <laughs> 
All right, perfect. Well, here I am joined with president of Pink Alliance, Doris Light. So what is Pink Alliance for those that don't know and what do you guys do? Okay, Pink Alliance is the Brazos Valley's advocate for breast health and cancer support. Just yesterday, we had a huge luncheon at the Hilton. Today, we're out painting the town pink. We have 30 restaurants in town that are giving us 15, 15 percent of their proceeds. Um, we're just thrilled to be here today. We're going to spend the rest of the month going out and about and doing events just like this. Awesome. And there's a special event here for tonight. And actually, freshman Stephanie here organized the whole thing. So come on in here, Stephanie. Let's see here. What was your inspiration for doing this, putting all this together? And what all did you organize? Um, my grandma was my inspiration because she fought cancer and she won. So she was my real inspiration. And organizing I asked Mr. Ryansky, he said yes. We made posters, put up donation jars, spread the word, and we have a lot of people out here and I'm really happy. And what are you guys doing tonight for your game? Um, tonight we have donation jars up and people can donate money throughout the day. And that's really it. <laughs> awesome. And then also we have Coach Hudson here. So Coach Hudson, how proud of you are of Stephanie, of your team, of your girls for doing this? I'm very proud of them. Um, sometimes we have to step back and not think about it's not just the wins and the losses. It's coming together as a team. And the girls have done that. And I'm very proud of Stephanie. She's the one that has organized all of this. And it's a great cause. And Mumford definitely supports it. Awesome. Well, they're going to have a game here tonight. And also, you can donate throughout the rest of the month to many organizations and also out here at any of their games. So definitely a good thing to get out and help with as far as Breast Cancer Awareness Month goes. We're going to toss things out to break. News, first news at 4. We'll be right back after this break.